going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of Terraria Expert Mode. And yeah, I'm still underground. I know last time I said I wouldn't be using the Falcon Blade uh, <laughs> in the next episode, but you know what? I'm still exploring, so doesn't count. Doesn't, well, I mean, it, it does, but I'm just gonna tell you, nah, I'm still gonna use it just for right now. Uh, because I didn't bring my other weapon, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the katana that I got, because otherwise I'd totally be using that. Um, but yeah, anyway, oh, I probably shouldn't put the marble away, because I'm just gonna get more of it. I don't think I need throwing knives either. They're just a little too weak at this point. Okay, that looks pretty good, uh, but I do need... Wow, where are... I feel like I'm missing items somehow. Huh. Oh well, okay, so I need to deal with this situation down here. This is really looking scary all these hoplites and bats and things I kind of let them you know spawn and stuff so oh Yeah, just do it just like that. You know, <laughs> I'm the grenade king. I'm so good at just blowing myself up with stuff It's like I don't even try uh, all right, let's just see those spears hit for so much damage. Ow! What was I just talking about? Guess I just wanted to give you a live demonstration. Am I right? Um. Okay. So I just need to find a way to kind of, kind of deal with all those hoplites down there. And I don't exactly have an easy way. Actually, maybe I could. Well, I don't know. I was thinking if I use like sticky grenades or something. I just need it to bounce off of something. Actually, I got an idea. What if I did this? Oh, that was so smart. Ish, kinda. Still a tough shot. <laughs> okay, um. Ow, man. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so many trick shots in this, I tell ya. Okay, did, no, that didn't do it. There's still one more. All right. Oh, there's two more now. Okay, well, maybe one more. I might be able to swing down and get that guy. All right, let's do that, just so I have a little bit more. Ugh. Shooting all this stuff at me now. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's pretty rapid. Ah, uh, okay. We just have to do it this way then. Oh, this is just... Okay, I got him. I got him. That's all that matters right now. All right, let's grab all this loot. <laughs> that was just ridiculous, man. What a fight! Yeah, just have to grenade everything. Now I'm running low on grenades, too, so that's not exactly good. What do we got over here? Oh, there's a trap. Yeah, I, I see it. I see it. Don't worry. I, I definitely see it. Um, Are there any other traps, though? That looks like the only one. I guess I probably don't need my net right now. There's all this tungsten. I was worried that'd be a trap, because it almost seems too good to be true. And no, there's a spiked ice slime on the other side. So it's like kind of a trap. Oh man. I am so good on tungsten right now though. I feel like they upped the spawn rate of tungsten as of 1.3. Uh, maybe I'm mistaken, but it just feels like it's so much more abundant now. Okay, we gotta fight this guy somehow. Oh man, wait, wait, wait. I need my field of vision here for sure. Okay, come on. <laughs> uh, I really don't want um, hoplites like randomly throwing spears and javelins and stuff at me. That would be pretty bad. That would be quite bad. And you know, it could happen. Totally could. I don't think it will, but it could. So I just have to be on guard for that. Cause you know, you might not see them. If they're attacking you, and I know I've had times where they just kind of like appear out of the blue and they have the spear just thrown at you. And it's like, what do I do? What did I do to deserve this? 
and it was just an unpleasant experience. And I'm all for pleasant experiences, okay? So I don't know why I'm playing expert mode. My goodness. Okay, let's see. Anything up here? Um, well, at least we're out of the ice biome. I do want to get that tungsten. Is there anything up here, though? Let's take a look. Uh, derp. Okay, there we go. Um, no, there's not really. Okay, I'll take my map back now. All right, let me grab this. Yeah, that was a pretty big vein. All right, what do we got down here? I see some kind of light shining over there. Wait. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a uh, glowing mushroom biome. That would have been great. I definitely want to hit up one of them, but no luck so far. Let's check out over here. Okay, I see some blink root, which, you know, Good to get, good to get. It's grown naturally here, which is nice. Um, let's be firing some of this stuff around. Ooh, looks like there could be some good things over there. Oh yeah, look at all that amethyst. Um, okay, we gotta get this slime. Uh, nope. <laughs> all right, let's do it this way then. Ta-da! And there's another slime and a bat over there. Why is it cold again? That's kind of weird. All right, well, I guess it is. Won't really fight it. Let me grab this amethyst. Lots of amethyst. Oh, wow. There's a lot. Um, Man. Okay. Fine with that. Totally fine with that. Uh, This is going to be trouble. All right, we're going <laughs> to... We're going to falcon blade it. Use it while I still can. Uh, cause again, I'm not going to allow it after I'm done with caving here. Cause I said last time, yeah, this thing's pretty broken. And it really is. Oh, a star statue. That could be great. Oh, nice. All right, definitely grabbing that. Um, what kind of chandelier we got? Platinum, ooh, fancy. Flare gun. Oh, flare guns. How many of those have I gotten over the years? But at least this is the first one for this series, which is nice. What kind of chandelier? Another platinum chandelier. I wonder if I could sell that for money. <laughs> I might be able to. All right, so let's loot that. And let's drop the piggy bank thing. Is there any? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's time, guys. It's time. Um... It's, it's time. It, it's, it's happening. I left my piggy bank down there, darn it. <laughs> oh well, you know what? We gotta deal with it. Okay, let me swap out my bow. I'm gonna be ready to buff. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're gonna try. Uh, let me eat food. Yeah, all these are good buffs. Wait, I don't really need water walking. Um... I'm gonna get rid of it just so I can pull it back later. Oh man. All right, well, we're gonna fight against the Eye of Cthulhu. It's happening. And I don't feel too good about it, but hopefully we'll be victorious. Oh man, this is tense. Nope, that's not him. All right, well, here we go. Expert mode, Eye of Cthulhu. Ow. Oh, let's buff for sure. Okay, we just have to handle this very carefully. Ow. Let's not get hit by knockback. That'd be great. Oh yeah, give me that heart. I'll take it. Okay. Oh, oh snap. Now this is where it gets really scary. Because he does a heck of a lot more damage. And he gets really, really crazy. Oh, man! Ah, there we 
there he goes! Yeah, when he gets in his berserk mode like that, it is nuts. Oh, okay, at least this buff is really helping. Oh, man. Whoa. Yeah, it really picks up an in intensity, that's for sure. Whoa. Ah, stop it, pal. No, zombie, don't do that. Oh. Okay. My defenses are really good. I'm feeling a lot better about this. But we're still not out of the woods just yet. No, we are not. Ah. And he gets really crazy with that as he gets lower in health. Uh. Ah, this is so crazy. All right. Oh, man. All right, let's just keep going. Ah. Oh, great. I used up all my jester arrows. Uh, I, maybe I should just try to poke him. Actually, it's not necessarily a terrible idea. Yeah, who am I kidding? It is. Or I could try to grenade him. I don't even think it's working. Okay, this isn't very good. Ah! He's just gone berserk! We did it! Yeah, I did it! Oh, man, that's awesome! Woo! Okay, well, I definitely had a lot more defense than I thought. I guess King Slime kind of scared the daylights out of me. Yeah, you know, what I was saying about King Slime, you know, how he, he hits pretty hard? He really does. Like, you know, he was hitting a lot harder than I Cthulhu, but yeah, I Cthulhu definitely... Why am I even doing this? Uh, Aya Cthulhu is definitely a pain. Well, I did it! Fleeting Shackle. Cool. I did it! I beat the Eye of Cthulhu on expert mode with 200 health and <laughs> full tungsten and, like, lots of warding and 30 defense. But I don't care! I did it! And that's great. Um, and, yeah, really cool. So, worm. 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 Okay, so now we don't have to worry about the Aya Cthulhu just randomly you know, trolling me and showing up and being like, hey, what's up? Now, I have to summon him manually, which is fine. I don't want to see that guy again for a while. But what I do want to do is open up that treasure bag. Yeah, that's right. After uh, beating the eye of Cthulhu and any boss, you do get treasure bags in expert mode, which is quite nice because they can be used and uh, when you open them up, they have, I don't know, some stuff in them, which is cool. I need to put this chest somewhere. I'm like out of room. Maybe I'll just put it in the basement for now. I don't know. Let me just dump off some of this stuff that I don't need. Um, I just want to make some room, okay? All right, all right. So yeah, let's open this thing up. See what kind of treasure I get. Oh, nice. The Aya Cthulhu mask and binoculars. No way. That's actually pretty rare, I think. It's like, what? I think a 2% drop. I, oh, this is awesome. That's definitely one of the rarer items from the Eye of Cthulhu, so that's really good. I got that and the mask. Wow, this is really trippy. But the binoculars are really cool. Like, you can use them to just scout stuff, and that's pretty handy. But the Eye of, or the Shield of Cthulhu is so helpful. Um, I need to get rid of something for sure. I didn't even have my warding white string on for this whole thing. Wow. Oh, wow. It's fine. Um, well, since I didn't really need it. Yeah, this thing... Wait, what? Oh, I think uh, my buff just wore off. I'm like, wow, that decreased my defense. That's strange. Yeah, my iron skin wore off. That's the problem. Okay, so... This has two defense built into it, which is really cool, but it provides a shield. And it also kind of works with, uh, well, it works like the Master Ninja gear, where you can double tap to dash. And it's really cool, because if you hit an enemy with it, it actually does some damage. I love it. It's so helpful. And it's also really good because 
watch. You know, I'm trying to walk and do this. Well, if you double tap, it charges up your momentum, like, right away, which is great news. Oh, you know what? I said I wasn't gonna. Okay, let me just switch to a swordfish. Although, I beat the Eye of Cthulhu, so I can. <laughs> it's really fine. In fact, actually, I can use my ice sword now. I can use frostburn arrows. I can use the, sun, uh, the star fury as well as any jungle or corruption or crimson item. So that's good. That's definitely good. It's not as useful, although I guess getting the Star Fury wouldn't be too bad. Um, and the jungle set might be good. I don't know. I don't know. But I definitely want this mask on. Yeah! I got two I have of Cthulhu's. <laughs> Just everywhere with them. I love this look. Uh, I really want to put like some dye on this to make it look cool. All right, let's see what we got. What we got? Um, blue acid dye. That looks kind of neat. Oh, I bet your red acid dye look cool. Oh, I'm angry now. <laughs> I'm out for blood. All right, I like it. We're we're gonna stick with that for a little bit. The twins. <laughs> That's what we are, right? Um. Okay. So falling stars are falling like crazy right now. And I definitely solved one big hurdle. Like, I have a lot, well, I had a lot of defense. 30 defense is a lot for that fight. I mean, I know I was overprepared for it. But, you know, if you have, like, 15 or 20, that's... It's cutting it close, I'll just say that much. Um, But, yeah, it's, it's over. I did it. And that's really good. Now, I still have more time for this episode, for sure. Maybe I should try to get one of those fish again. Um, Maybe not such a bad idea. I know I need to clean this up for sure, and I know I need to build something that doesn't look so, say it with me everyone, bad. Yeah, I know, it's really bad. Um, yeah, I should definitely get on this quest. <sighs> I don't want to have to go all the way over there though. Yeah, that's a long distance, but I mean, it should be okay. Actually, you know what, how much platinum and stuff that I get. Wow, I got a lot of tungsten for sure, but even some good amounts of platinum. Let's go ahead and see how much of that. 55, so I'm still short for the armor. That's a shame. Um, for tungsten, oops, how am I doing on that? I know I'm going to need to make a few other things here, but not really that much. I mean, I need to make this stuff for completion. Glass kiln, that could be good. Amethyst. Contain. That's right, I can make crimtain now. I did get 65 crimtain ore. Cool, let's go ahead and make some. Um, ooh, an artery. That sounds pretty good. Blood butcherer. Blood lust cluster. Tendon bow, 21. Ooh, that sounds great. Um, I got 21 to work with. I don't think I actually need any of this. The artery could be good because it's 18 melee damage. Um, trying to think what I would need against. I think I should probably go with the bow. That 21 range is nice. Bloodlust cluster, though. Oh, it's an axe. And then the flesh catcher. Oh, I should really make that, too. Okay, so 8 and 8, that's 16. That gives me a little bit left over. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to go with. I'm oh, that artery, though. I'm gonna go with the bow and I'm gonna go with the flesh catcher. Let's do that. All right, tendon bow and flesh catcher. Cool, 21 ranged. Yeah, this should be a lot better. Um, okay, cool. Let's put that away there. And uh, what else? I guess I should probably go fishing. <laughs> I think that would be my best bet. Um. Just to kind of get some stuff, and I really need a new base. This is driving me crazy right now. I'm hating this. So, I think that'll be my goal for the next episode. Now that the Eye of Cthulhu has been defeated, because that was definitely something I wanted to do, um, for sure. But now it's done, and that's great. That's, like, really good news. Okay, so... Yeah, let's go fishing and do some kind of exploration stuff. I think that'll be good. And let me put a... Well, I don't have to put it away anymore, do I? No, I do not. Uh, I don't need this yo-yo. 
I think I'll go without it. Flesh catcher. So we don't need the reinforced fishing pole anymore. We got the flesh catcher. Binoculars. That's good. Umbrella hat. I'll put it away for right now. I like this mask. It's pretty fun. And these javelins. I guess I could have used those against something. Um. All right. Enough dilly dallying. Let me put this stuff away. Actually, I need to put a lot more away. I'll be right back. All right, I think I'm all set. There was only one thing I wanted to make before I left, and that's the sapphire staff, since I have plenty of sapphires now. And uh, I don't know if it's gonna be any better or worse than my topaz staff, but let's find out. So this kind of shoots slowly. Oh, this is nice. I like it. You know what, we're gonna stick with this. Um, all right, let's go ahead and drop off the other one. Uh, Falcon Blade, you stay. Topaz Staff, you go. Okay, I gotta get over to the ocean. I'll see you when I get there. All right, so I'm over at the dungeon, and you know what? I was thinking about it. Now that I have the depth meter, I know exactly how far down I can go. Uh, I don't have to worry quite as much. Um, as long as it is in the surface, I should be fine. I don't really see a need to go too much deeper though it's not like i can even use water bolt at this point and i got it well <laughs> i can't use it until after i have beaten the wall of flesh but i just wanted to see if it was there uh yeah oh well <laughs> it's fine um and it did start raining too which is kind of nice and you know what i was thinking about it about the the falcon blade i think i am going to restrict it until after the Brain of Cthulhu, or uh, Eater of Worlds, if I were playing in a corruption world. Because it's just way too, way too strong. I mean, it's it really is. Ice Blade should be fine. All right, well, we're almost there, so let's just go a little bit further. I guess we'll do a little bit of walking and talking. Um, yeah, I don't really know why I want to go fishing. I mean, obviously, I want to get the quest, which I have to be mindful of time-wise, but I should be able to get it just fine. But maybe I'll do a little bit more fishing after I've gotten it, too. Because I wouldn't mind getting a Reaver Shark. I know I'm going to need one of those at some point. Um, oh yeah, look at this beautiful thing. Okay, so yeah, this was interfering, by the way. All this wood. Uh, it was taking away from my fishing power stuff. Okay, but this should work just fine. All right, let's get to fishing. Well, I got it, but you know what I should do? Let me put it away. <laughs> that way I can get another one. That didn't take very long at all. The Reaver Shark, nice. Well, that's a really good pickaxe for this point in the game. It's actually a pretty good pickaxe, even into hard mode, which is great. Yeah, look at that thing. Um, 100% pickaxe power. So yeah, I probably could have skipped some progression, but again, wouldn't really matter thanks to my item restrictions. But yeah, it's a really good thing to have. I'm glad I got that. Uh. Yeah, well, I guess that's everything I really need. I should probably get out of here. I mean, I'm going to need to get a Zephyr fish at some point. I also did get the pink jellyfish, which is kind of rare. Although I don't see where it went. That's weird. Yeah, where did it go? Huh.
Oh, I used it, darn it. That's what happened. It probably filled up in my inventory and then I used it as bait. Whoops. Okay, so it's not a big deal. Let me take the books and uh, I guess I'll take my platforms with. All right, let's recall. Probably should have taken the second clownfish, but oh well, it's fine. All right, let's quick stack some of this stuff. I can sell off all these spare sawtooth sharks, which is nice. And, uh, oh, nice, the fisherman's pocket guide. That's good. I'll need that for something. In fact, I'm gonna need two of them. Or more. Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna need three. Ugh, that's not good. But, oh well, that's fine. Um, so I guess we probably have just a little bit more time. Uh, let me drop off this falcon blade. This thing is just worm. 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 Uh, this thing is just ridiculous. It's so strong, and I have to avoid the temptation. I have strong weapons now. It's not, like, as urgent. But, my goodness, it was just, like, it's such a powerful item. Oh, you know what? Let me grab some water leaf here. What are you waiting for? Uh, and I did get some more water leaf. So it's good to, you know, harvest your plants while you can. I mean, I don't really have a big operation going on over here. But hey, it's something. It's growing me things in the background that, you know, just work kind of passively, which is good. Okay, but the reaver shark, that is really nice. So I don't need my pickaxe, like my standard pickaxe anymore. And I'm going to put away my falcon blade. I know, I know. Now the katana, I don't know if I'd rather have the katana or the ice blade, they're both really good. And the crates, I guess I might as well start hoarding the crates now. There's not really that much I need, I have all the ores I'll need. They're really good before, um, before you've beaten any of the bosses. But after that they kind of lose their, their luster. Alright, yeah, I get one gold each. These don't, like, combine into anything, so... And swordfish, 50 silver. Oh, water bolt. How much I wish I could use you right about now. All right, and I do have the other clownfish. I'll discover it at some point in the future and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I found it. So excited and it'll just be glorious. But it's for right now, I don't need to worry about it. Oh, and I got shrimp. I need to make more fish. So let's take, uh, let's take all these bass and just go over to the cooking pot. It's all it takes to make some nice, delicious cooked fish. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, the reaver shark. I should probably put this bait away. I mean, I guess I could fish some more. Doesn't hurt. I just wanted to make sure that I got the quest in. Oh, I did get some silt, didn't I? Yeah, let's go ahead and use that up in my slushinator, as I've been calling it. Okay, spoilers, I didn't really get anything of that great, but it's fine. I did get some money, and that's good, and, uh, yeah. Okay, um, I don't really know what I want to do next. I know I want to build something at some point. I also kind of want to explore. I'm kind of at a loss. I'll have to figure it out. But for right now, I think I am satisfied knowing that I've defeated the Eye of Cthulhu, and I've got a cool new bow, and cool new fishing rod, cool new mask, and a cool new shield. So that's really great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Terraria Expert Mode Adventure. See you next time. Hopefully not bad buildings. Ugh.